Let's talk about the new Christmas AI ad from uh, Coca-Cola. What's interesting to me is it feels more like a test of the waters than any kind of mistake. I mean, we saw before, this isn't the first AI ad that they've done. I see a lot of people saying that it is, it's not. They did something before. But what I would say is this is the first creatively bad AI uh, ad that they've done. And I think it's pretty obvious that I just saw the, I think it's the McDonald's one uh, in the UK market, and it's great. They have all of these lighting gags that they did throughout a street. But I think what's really important to remember and, and to look at and to think about with these is look at the people because there's still an uncanny valley to it. I think the way to judge it is just does it connect? Is it good for the brand because does it connect? Um, is it a solid piece of creative work regardless of how it was made? And I think, you know, in the case of the one they did before, I think it was a museum piece. Uh, I thought it was great. It was interesting. It was creative. It was fun. There was a lot going on. This, I just don't, I think objectively, creatively, it was, it was bad. It didn't connect, especially when you're going after nostalgia marketing. I mean, this campaign's been going on since 1995. Uh, and they tried to bring in all of these little call outs to like the bears and all of these other uh, classic uh, Coca-Cola iconography from the from the Christmas ads. And it just doesn't it just didn't work. Um, now, I'm sure the people that made this worked really hard on it. And, you know, kudos to them for uh, being able to utilize new technology in this way. But. I think there's always going to be a place for humanity in advertising and creativity and, and all of that stuff. And let's not forget, this is all trained on things that humans made. So this is, you know, the best estimation that these AI models can create based on everything that they've ingested from humans. I'm assuming in this case from other Coca-Cola ads. So, I mean, if you go back and watch the 1995 version, there's a lot of, you know, imperfections there. There's a lot of, of creativity there that I think feels human in a, in a way that connects with us. Where, you know, I think if, if what we're striving for is perfect photorealistic replication, to some extent, I don't think that matters. I mean, most of the conversations in like the high-end cinematography world right now are, you know, we're taking these 12K, these 8K cameras and we're trying to ruin the footage. We're putting Vaseline on the lenses. We're, you know, defocusing. We're using all of these techniques, these soft filters, to take the, the sharp digital perfection off of the image. So, you know, in a lot of ways, I think we're asking the wrong questions if we're seeing like, well, it's okay now, but it's gonna get better. If the idea of better is just closer to photorealistic perfection, I don't know that that's the better that's gonna connect with anybody. Um, on a brand side, the thing that feels like a miss to me is, you know, you have a piece like this that should be building a brand. And, and arguably in the past, these Christmas ads have done a lot of work to build the brand. We talked about that last week with the, with the Disney piece. Um, it's, it's largely an exercise in brand building and reinforcing your current audience more so than bringing on new audience. What I worry about with Coke is not that this AI ad is gonna break the brand. That would be a ridiculous thing, um, position to take. But my concern is if stuff like this continues, and again, I do feel like this is kind of just a testing the waters. If this type of stuff continues, it feels a little bit more like a phoning it in, uh, especially at a time where you know, brands use these ads to it reinforce their uh, commitment to entertainment, reinforce their commitment to, you know, humanity, nostalgia, all of these things, uh, deep emotion that really connect us to the holiday season. My concern is that with Coke, if they continue down this road, this sort of feels a little lazy, is that it'll just erode the brand over time. But I don't know. What do you think?